Breaking news, U.S.-based Northerners reports Nigerian government again to U.S. government, cautions them against negotiating with bandits. You know, like if you've been following us, you would have heard us say again and again that um, Americans, they have a slogan that says, we do not negotiate with those who are terrorizing us. They have that slogan, we, we don't negotiate with them. However, Nigerian government is a different ball game altogether. In fact, they don't even negotiate with them, they rule with them. Oh, they romance with them. You know, in Zamfara now, the, the people of Zamfara, the elders are, are rising up and are shouting. Children are orphaned as a result of these people's activity. Guess what? They've been released. You heard me clearly, they've been released. They've been released. So what's, what's going to happen? What's going to be happening to those who reported them, the vigilante who ensured that some of them were captured? Guess what? It will only increase the crime rate because Nigerian government is working in a very deceitful position. Very, very deceitful position. So these are some of the things happening that we can see. These are some of the things going on that you and I are experiencing now and before our very eyes. And so the time to rise up above this is now. The time to rise up above this is now. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Let's get all the details. U.S.-based Northerners caution Nigerian government against negotiating with bandits. The group said that the bandits has transgressed beyond borders and boundaries and should be treated as who really they are. They should be treated as terrorists and eliminated, not negotiated with. A group of northern Nigerians who are based in the United States of America in U.S. has urged the Nigerian government not to enter into negotiation with bandits as this will only continue the cycle. Daily Trust said the group noted that bandits have wrecked havoc and caused damages that do not give room for negotiation in whatsoever way or manner. The group, in a statement on Monday by his spokesman, Kabiru Isiak, said the bandits has transgressed beyond borders, beyond measures, and should never be negotiated with or treated as humans, and, re and what should be done is that it should be eliminated. No previous grievances can be justified, can justify the or warrant the level of destruction of lives and property, and how they have destabilized the North. Therefore, no one Neither the government, private or, or, or public, should negotiate in any form with these very people. Negotiating with them gives them the opportunity to continue in their evil track. We, can, we, can, we call on the government of Nigeria to remember its core responsibility of protection of lives and property. Insecurity is persisting only in an ungovernable situation. And so we are asking the government of Nigeria to rise to their responsibility. Muhammad Buhari came in and swore to the people to protect them in every way, form or kind. But sadly, reverse is the case. We know what is going on in Nigeria and we are saying the government of Nigeria must take on responsibility. The government do more to take the war to the bandits and enact the activities of legislations that will allow individuals to defend themselves without reservation instead of saying the government will and doing nothing. It's disheartening to witness the ongoing destabilization and the act of kidnapping, ransom collection, gruesome killings and murders of innocent men, women, children, especially in the northwest of Nigeria. The group called for President Muhammadu Buhari to either resign or rise up to responsibility. I'm glad it is the North that is calling on President Muhammadu Buhari, who has failed grossly in his duty as the president of the country. Muhammadu Buhari, you know, has continued to has continued to deny Nigerians of one of the core responsibility he gave and said he will protect lives and property he will do everything within his reach he will do everything he can as the as the president to ensure that lives and property are saved this man has not done any of that in fact he has done more wickedness than you can ever imagine you know he has done more wickedness than you can ever imagine you know but guess what buhari is doing nothing about it in fact they are being released over and over again they are being released again and again and nothing is being done 
you know, nothing is being done. This is why people have to now begin to call out the government so that other nations of the world can know that the country is beginning to go into a state of anarchy. You know, where, the, where it goes to that kind of state that the, the government of the nations of the world can come in and help solve the situation. You know, they can actually come in and solve the situation of the nation because currently what we are experiencing and all that is going on is not acceptable. People are genuinely dying. People are genuinely dying. P things are genuinely happening in this country. And guess what? Nobody is paying at. In fact, even if they are paying attention, they are doing nothing about it. Those that should speak are silent, okay, and doing nothing. So this is part of the reason why the country is where it is today. Why the country is where it is today. So every one of us must rise up. Every one of us must say the truth. And none of us must, you know, sit down and pretend that all is going on well. As a matter of fact, things are more terrible than you can ever imagine. And the truth of the matter is the earlier we rise up, the earlier we say no, the better for every one of us. You know, because if you don't rise up, you do not, you do not categorically condemn and speak against wrongdoing in our society. Truth of the matter is everyone will fall a prey at one point or the other. It may not be you, but we may be indirectly or directly connected to you. And we can prevent that. By speaking out, by praying about it, it will go a long way. Yes, it will go a long way. You know, but we must call out evil. Evil thrive in the areas of darkness, where nobody is saying anything, where there is privacy, where it is totally dark. People, I mean, oblivion to the eyes. People are not paying attention to that area. People are not seeing what is going on. Similarly, people are obscured to the reality of the danger being posed by such things. Oh, that is the domain of evil. He continue to brood and thrive and, you know, uh, begin to exert himself and express himself and find, you know, expression and become, you know, more emboldened. But when people rise up and say, no, enough is enough. We're not going to condole that. We're not going to accept it. It's unacceptable. We're not going to allow it. No way. Then you will see things coming out and things becoming better. So the time to rise up, the time to rise up is now. The time to come out of this very obscurity that we've come to find ourselves today, it's now. The time to say enough is enough is now. And that duty lies with you, with me, with every one of us. It's our responsibility collectively. Please do not forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Do have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.